All right, welcome back. Um, the show is DST on UIV Television on Channel 33 and on the radio on 101.6 FM. Well, into the studio this afternoon, I've just been joined by Chief Leslie Cole Showers. Um, he's the National Public Relations Officer, um, a Sierra Correctional Service, and he's here to discuss about the 300 limit, which will be moved from the Freetown to Mafata Correctional Center. And also, I've been joined by Mohamed Mutala, and he's here to discuss about the proposed Miss Correctional. Um, gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to the show. Good afternoon. And also, Mutala. Um, relocating 300 of them, and I could be called sometimes um, back when we went to the prison. I spoke with you, and um, the, the number, you know, at the, 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 the correctional center, it's quite very high. And um, uh, so it, it means you guys are reducing um, the people, the inmate there, to see that, you know, they have some space we are in, those who will be coming as well will be having some chance to, to be freely moving. Yes, of course, you're absolutely correct. Um, as an institution, we are overburdened with the issue of overcrowding. So much so that for me to, to even say we are challenged with overcrowding has become a cliche. Mm -hmm. Now in people's ears, they are tired of hearing it. And we are also tired of saying it. So as a result of that fact, now that we have some available spaces at um, Waterloo and Mafanta, it, it, I mean, the Director General, Mr. Joseph Lamboy, thought it fit that we should make use of those spaces because if you look at our Act, the Sierra Leone Correctional Service Act of 2014, Section 5, subsection 3 states that the Director General of Sierra Leone Correctional Service has the right and the mandate to take a decision that is befitting for the good governance of any correctional center or the entire institution as a whole. That's why we made that decision. A lot of people are wondering, where is this Mafanta situated? Mm. Let me just explain briefly. Mm, sure. Let me give a, a brief historical background. You know, before the war um, emerged in Sierra Leone, the Mafanta Correctional Center was identified as a place where the Padamba Road Correctional Center should have been relocated. Mm. That's why we were able to acquire 557 acres of land there. That's the land we have there. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you go to that center, you look around, you wouldn't be able to see any village around. It's very isolated. It is situated in Tonkolili district, three miles off Maguroka town. That's where it is situated. So when the war came into this country, it destroyed the farm that we had there. It destroyed livestock. It destroyed some blocks that were constructed within the perimeter fence of the center. Mm -hmm. And then um, over the years, we've been able to reconstruct two and about a year ago, the United Nations Development Program and the International Bureau of Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs under the United States Embassy were able to provide some funds to us to reconstruct two more additional blocks. That is leading up to four blocks now at the Mafenta Correctional Center. And each of those reconstructed, reconstructed blocks has the capacity of hosting 150 inmates each, mm -hmm. which equals to 300 inmates. That's why we're able to make a decision to move some inmates from the Padamba Road Maximum Correctional Center to the Mafanta Correctional Center so that they will be able to occupy those two empty blocks. Mm. And past Saturday, we were able to commute 150 male inmates from the Padamba Road Correctional Center to Mafanta. And this- Immediately, um, um, some spaces have been created as well. Yes. Mm. So, and, um, so let's talk about how, you know, the things is gonna be run in terms of those who have actually been relocated at that um, particular center. How the operation is going to look like um, compared to here at Freetown? Well, before the refurbishment of those two blocks, we used to have something like um, 200 inmates, up to 250 inmates at the Mafanta Correctional Center mm. because they, do not, they did not have enough space as compared to now. Mm. So what we used to do with those 200 and and 40 inmates and some more, was that um, we used to bring them out to the farm. We have a very large farm at the Mafanta Correctional Center. Like I said in my mm -hmm. introductory explanation, we used, we used to have um, rice farm there, we used to have cassava farm, we used to have livestock, but the war took away all of those things. Mm -hmm. It is only now that we are trying to re-establish them. And the manager of the Mafanta Correctional Center, Chief Superintendent of Corrections, Mr. 
Joseph Senesi is a man that studied agriculture at the Jala University and he did his master's at IPAM in public administration. So he's very serious about agriculture. He knows what he's doing and he's been using the 248 inmates. He's been bringing them out to the farm to rear some crop, to, to cultivate some crops yeah. and rear some animals, especially pig and cows. We have about eight cows at the Mafanta Correctional Center now, and we have about 40 pigs at the Mafanta Correctional Center. Mm -hmm. And we have cultivated 40 acres of rice, 20 acres of cassava, 28 acres of sorghum, and we've just recently cultivated 20 acres of groundnut. Mm -hmm. so, so the inmates and the officers alike are doing all of those work in mm -hmm. tandem. Mm -hmm. So now that we have the addition of 300 inmates at the Mafanta Correctional Center, it means more work. And let me just inform the public and you that we are not forcing any inmates to work on the farm. Mm -hmm. we, are, we, we are cajoling them, we are trying to show them and tell them the importance of working. That is why we are, we are convincing them to go out to the farm and learn some amount of skill so that when they come out of the center, they will probably go to the farm because you know this, this government focuses on education and on mm -hmm. agriculture, agriculture as well. Mm -hmm. And we did not just transfer those inmates to the Mafanta Correctional Center. We looked at what is known as the, the profility. We did what is known as the profility check. Mm -hmm. When I speak of profility check, we are looking at inmates that are of high risk, medium risk, and low risk. And the inmates that we decided to transfer to the Mafanta Correctional Center are those that have medium risk and more of low risk inmates. Because if we decided to transfer high risk inmates to the Mafanta Correctional Center, because of the work they are doing at the farm, they have high tendency to escape. And when they escape, will cause more problems in society and journalists do not want to hear that, neither um, innocent citizens out there. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, give, giving them the opportunity, which I think it's good, for them to work in, in the farm, um, are they going to be paid? Yes, of course. I failed mm -hmm. to mention that mm -hmm. we have what is known as the earning scheme and that was also um, brought up in the institution by the UNDP and the INL, which I mentioned in my introduction. They've been very helpful to us, aside from what the go government has been doing for us as an institution. They've provided a lot of money for us. You know, initially, I think early last year or so, they provided the sum of over 300 million euros for us to open bank accounts for inmates who are working in industries and in the farm, so that we'll be able to, to credit their accounts based on, on the sales we make by what they are doing. Mm. That's what we do now as an institution. Mm. All right, it's it, 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 it's a very good move by um, the correctional service, yes. you know, and uh, which which I must commend you guys. So as we speak, um, despite the the the, the, the center here is still overcrowded, <laughs> uh, but I think it's it's beginning. I don't to be I don't know if you want me to be, which is good. And mm. um, for the statistics before now, mm. we used to have holding capacity of one thousand seven hundred and thirty nine. That was our holding capacity mm. before now. Mm. And that amounted to 259% overcrowding when you compare that to um, 4,500 inmates that we have from time to time. Mm. But now that we have the inclusion of the refurbishment of two blocks at Mafanta Correctional Center and the construction of a special center at Waterloo, you know, we now have a capacity of 2,161. That has reduced overcrowding by 51%. Now we have overcrowding of 208%. In the, in the whole country. I mean, mm. it's a small step, but huge leap for us as an yeah. institution. And, and for today's figure, we have total male is 4,427, that is male inmates. Mm. For female, we have 133, total equaling to 4,560. Mm. For Padimba Road alone, today we have 1,777. And for our female correctional center at Brookfield, Willow Billion, we have 62 of them. So you see the sharp difference in terms of mm. offense and committal by male yeah. and female mm -hmm. in the country. So, I mean, f by reducing overcrowding by 51%, that means a lot for us mm -hmm. as an institution. So it, it appears what steps we are going to take? Mm -hmm. You know, we have new districts now in yeah. Falaba and Karine. The government has demonstrated its it, it, um, support to us. So they've decided to support us in terms of constructing centers at Falaba district mm -hmm. and Karine district. All of those centers yeah. will help post the congest some of our most popular centers mm. in the country. All right, it's, it's, it's good as well, you know, and uh, I think it's a very good move by um, the new administration of the correctional service. And uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just at least two, exactly. two minutes. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> sure. yes. Okay, I, I think um, um, I'll talk directly uh. to the court. <laughs> 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 because the last time when we went there, 
um, it was nicely, uh, you know, and we even went to the cells. You know, the, the how, how do you call yes, it? Yes, I was with you. The yeah, sure, and the, the cells. as well. You know, it was quite very nice. And all of them were actually commending the, the management, you know, because... Um, Including Honorable Gevao. Yes, we were there. And, um, of course, they said um, back then, you cannot even go into these places because of the smell. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but we went in, you know, I, I, I even sat, you know... <laughs> in one of <laughs> the cells. Well. And I, because <laughs> I met most of them, I'm afraid. So oh, you can't imagine. That was what <laughs> happened to me when I joined the institution. You know, wow. most of them. Mm -hmm. So it was... So a lot of you know, So we, we, we would speak and some of them, it was quite over two, three years, you know, I met them. So it, it was, on that note, it was quite very sad for me to see my friends <laughs> who went to school, you know, and uh, so, um, but, 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 but on that note, how, how are you guys going to keep improving, you know, things going on, you know, and uh, to ensure that, um, you know, we're gradually moving towards standards? Like you said, we've done a lot of things um, previously, in two years ago or so, no one could stand the stench that mm. was being emitted by the Panembaud Maximum Correctional mm. Center. Mm. But, but that's a thing of the past now, because now we have regular water supply. I mean, we've been able to reconnect the water supply from Goma Valley to the Maximum Correctional Center. After 20 years, mm. we used to go and fetch water from the Goma Valley hydrant and bring it into the center. We've been doing that for something like 20 years now. Mm. But um, the new leadership of the institution under Mr. Joseph Lamboy thought it fit to reconnect the pipes into the Padema Road Maximum Correctional Center. So mm. now we have water. You know, water is very important yeah. for cleanliness. So the inmates are now clean. The cells are scrubbed from time to time. You know, that's why you're able to get an appealing smell mm. when you got there. And it, it's something that is good for us as well because a lot of officers used to fall sick because of those stench. Yeah that were being emitted by the Palembang Road Correctional Center. And like you said, you met some of your friends there. Yeah. It's no strange thing. Yeah, sure. It happened to me when I joined the institution mm. as well. I met some friends mm. at the Palembang Road Maximum Correctional Center, and it was a very sad moment yeah. for me. But it is an indication that we should treat them like people and not like yes. animals. Yeah. You know, when we were prisons, we used to maltreat them, yeah. punish them when the need arises. But now it's a different story altogether for us. We believe that every human being that was created, God gave that individual a particular talent. So it is not for us to just lock them and unlock them in the morning. Mm. It is about us unlocking their talents as well. Mm. That is what we do now as an institution. We are a completely changed institution. Mm. Regardless of the fact that we are just five years old. Yeah. Last month, the 14 made us five years old as correctional yes, service. Yes, okay. All right, thank you very much, I'm Leslie, for being part of the show of thank this you day. You're, you're always welcome. Sure, sure, definitely. And also, Muntala, thank you very much. We'll keep engaging you because that's a very good idea. Um, anyway, um, well, we go for a short...